Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install and track Google Analytics events on your WordPress site. Now, Google Analytics events are a special type of object in an analytics report, which tracks user interaction with content on your website. So you can track when someone clicks a link, when someone downloads a PDF, when someone clicks a picture, you can track when someone scrolls to a certain point on a page, you can track when someone interacts with your videos. And that's all done, or one way to do all of, all of that is through Analytics Events. And I'm going to show you how to install a plugin called WP Google Analytics Events, and how to configure it, and then how to see those events appearing in your Google Analytics reports. Now the first thing we need to do is install WP Google Analytics Events plugin on your WordPress site. So here we are on the dashboard. If we hover over plugins, we click on add new on the left. And in the search bar, we type in WP Google Analytics events, hit enter. And the first one that appears is the exact one that we want. When we click on install on the next page, we click on activate. And once it's activated on the left hand side at the very bottom, we have a WPGA events menu item. When we click on that, it'll go to the general settings where we enter our analytics identifier, which I already have in here, but I will show you where to get that in a second. So what this plugin will do when you add any identifier, it will automatically add Google Analytics code to your page. So if you have another plugin doing that already, you'll want to check the don't add the GA code because you don't want it in there twice. And you want to check to see if you're using the universal tracking code or not, because you need to check this box or not. So I'm going to hop over to Google Analytics and show you where to find the Google Analytics identifier. So when you're in your analytics account, you want to log into whatever the tracking code or the dashboard is for your website. In this case, I'm in WP-PhD, which is our test site. Once you're on the screen, you want to click on the admin link at the top. In the middle column, you want to click on tracking info and then on tracking code. On the next page, you will see this information that you see here and at the very top, where it says UA dash and a string of numbers, that is your tracking ID. We want to copy that. And right below it, it will say that you're using the universal analytics tracking code or you're not, which you want to make note of because if we go back to our plugin, this is where we paste the ID that we just copied and then we need to check this box to check whether it's universal or not. So after you're done, we click on save changes and then once they're saved, we can go into either click tracking or scroll tracking. For this video, I'm going to show you how to do click tracking. And then to track an event on your website, what you have to do is fill in these four boxes in this one drop down with the correct information. And then you'll be tracking events that register into your Google Analytics reports. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to track a PDF download link. And this could be in your case, maybe it's a brochure on your website that you want to track whether people are downloading it. Maybe you want to test different calls to action to see which ones provide better results, which ones get more downloads, which one get more calls to your, to your call center. So first you want to enter an element name. I'm going to call mine PDF brochure download. And for the type, we want to pick class. For the event category, I like to use download as kind of the umbrella category. So all the different types of download events on my websites will be in the downloads category. That just keeps things nice and organized. For the event action, I would do something like PDF brochure download. And then for the label, I usually have the same thing as the action and I'll show you why in a minute. So if we have all, all that information filled in, we click on Save Changes. And then we need to copy this because that will be the class name for the link that we're now going to create. So I'm going to go into my posts. You might have to go into your pages wherever you need to go to create this link or this brochure download. I'm just going to make a random link. In fact, I'm just going to use this one that exists on this page. I'm just going to add class equals and I'm going to paste in, I'm going to paste in that class that we determined or that we input into the plugin. 
and then click on update. And you can do this, um, I did it one way. I created the tracking information in the plugin first and then did the link. But you can also do the link first and then do the tracking information. Doesn't matter which order you do it in, as long as you put the right information in the right places. And if you do make a mistake, you, you'll notice it almost immediately because either it won't work or it'll be putting the wrong information into your analytics reports, in which case you can just correct your mistake and no harm done. So now I've saved this page. If I click on view post and then click on this link, it will hopefully begin showing that information or immediately show that information inside our analytics account in the real time view, which I'm gonna show you right after I click this link. So I click the link, it opens the blank demo PDF. We go to analytics, go to reporting, open the real time area if it's not open yet and then click on events. And here we have one event tracked in the event category download, event action PDF brochure download, which is the one that we just created. So this is the real time report and you can have as many different events on your website as you want and you can watch them happening in real time in this dashboard which is pretty cool. The reason I did a more specific event action description is because it shows up right here. Some people will keep the more specific description for the event label but I like to put it in the action because then it shows up in these real time reports. And these events that show up in this dashboard are real time. So you can have events that happen in the last 30 minutes and events for active users that are currently on your site. But after that 30 minutes or after those users are off your site, that event is gone. But there is a way to see events historically and see them during a specific time period or for the lifetime of that, that event existed. And the way you do that is you go to the behavior section and there's an events tab. Click on that events tab and all four of these overview, top events, pages, and event flows will show you information about events that you have custom set up on your website. So if we click on overview, we may already have our newest event tracked on there or maybe not. Usually this, sometimes it takes a bit of time for this to populate, but sometimes it's immediate. So we do have a download event tracked and if we click on action on the side, it is the PDF brochure download, which is the one we just created a moment ago. So the real time reports show real time, but the information is also updated in nearly real time inside these reports. And you can also choose your time ranges and you can choose different metrics to compare it against. You can use the event flows tab, which I really like because it shows you um, well, this isn't going to work so I don't have enough data, but what it will show you is when an event happens, the path that someone went through to do that event. So for example, if someone came to your website via a search engine and then went to one of your blog posts and then went to your homepage and then downloaded the brochure, you can see the flow of traffic through your site. And, and the path that people take to, to complete your event, which is normally an important thing on your website, like, bro, like uh, downloading your brochure, you don't want to track irrelevant things on your site. You want to track the important things. So if you know the path people take, you can then figure out ways to drive more traffic through that path and get more of the results that you want. So in this video, I showed you how to use the WP Google Analytics Events plugin to create events in, this, in the case of this video, a PDF download event and track those events inside of your Google Analytics reports. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video if it helped, share it on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.